Hey, what's up, all you topaholics? This is Paul here, aka Blaster Monger, back with another video of Perth or Curse. Now, in the previous episode, we covered all the gecko mods, or at least the major gecko mods out there, and a lot of people have been asking for a tutorial on how to do the return spring mod. <laughs> So with the return spring mod, it actually cuts down a lot of time before your next shot. In normal circumstances, you got to prime it, deprime it, and then take your aim, right? So with the auto return spring, you prime it, as it returns, you are already taking aim. And it looks really cool as well, so check it out. Right, so let's get into the mod itself, let's go! So really, you don't need any additional hardware for the mod except a single spring and this is how it looks like. The OD outer diameter is 20mm and the ID is 18mm. So this will give you a 1mm thick spring. It's really light, I can compress it with one finger. So the spring is really, really light. It really doesn't add additional priming weight to it. Lengthwise, I would go with 10 cm. If it's too weak for you, you can even cut another spring and stack below it. If it's too strong, right, you can even cut the coils and put it back in. So over here, we have the main slide of the top slide assembly. And I don't know if you can see here, there is a notch just about here. How it works is, the spring actually is blocked by this notch and uh, as you prime it, the spring compress and then it shoots back up. In order for this to happen, you would also need it to be bigger than your barrel and this is the turnaround assembly. You would just need it to clear the barrel like so and that's about it. I don't have something that is long enough so I'm going to stack two springs together, uh, flat end by flat end and slot it in and there you go. So. Right now, I'm going to assemble the top slide assembly and put it into the blaster itself. So we're going to catch the spring first. Then we're going to insert the turnaround assembly with the return spring, of course. So um, once you put in the turnaround assembly, uh, it will want to fight back due to the return spring. So what you need to do is just hold it there Put in the pusher fairly quickly and uh, screw the pusher down. At this point, your top slide is done. All you need to do is insert it into the front frame with the trigger in. Tighten the turnaround down. Now at this point, once the turnaround is tightened, you can test the return spring itself. See if it works properly. If it doesn't work properly, take it out again, try and install it properly. Okay? So now as you can see, it's working fine. Alright, we're gonna put on the back frame. Now after you put your rear frame on, I want you to stop right here. What happens is, the smoothness of your slide will have a direct impact on the strength of the return spring that you will need. Because bear in mind, in addition to pushing the slide forward, it has got to push one single dart forward. So, what I recommend here is for you to put in a magazine and test out the return spring. See, now it's stuck, right? So we need a stronger spring for this one, right? Otherwise, just use it as you go along. It will smoothen itself out and it will return normally. So at the start, it will be like that. But if you can get it right here, good for you. So always test it out first at this stage before you put it on the grip. And now the last part, put back the grip, install the lower rails and box your ankle. So there you have it guys. An easy to install return spring mod for your gecko. 
I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this content and the content that I am making. If you if it did help you, do leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel. I will see you in the next one. This is Paul here signing off. Ciao.